Um, my name is Sheila uh, Kando. Um, originally uh, from South Africa, born in Malawi. Um, I've got um, four children, two boys, two girls, but I'm here with three. Um, I live in Stockport and um, I'm a health, uh, social health worker uh, for the community at the moment. My grandmother got educated here in England. Um, when I was born, uh, I was born in Malawi. My grandmother was educated in England. My grandmother finished her education in England, went back to Africa, took me from my mother, and uh, we traveled to Zambia. I grew up in Zambia. I, I, I was in Zambia like uh, till the age of 10 years. Bringing up black children in Stockport, to me, it's been a very, very big challenge because I've got black children who've, who've been going through a lot of racial, racial discrimination, I, I think, by the police. Because I've got a son. My son, um, every time he goes out, he'll be stopped by the police. They'll ask my son, where are you going? Where are you coming from? I can't say, oh, 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 white people are, 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 race, race, are racists. I cannot say that. If I say that, I'm wrong. Because I have a mother who's a white person. I have a mother who's been there for me. I've been having so much, in the past I had my own problems, my own issues, and this woman, she was in my life. She, she, was, she was Anita, she was there for me, she was helping me. She was like a mother to me, she was like a mother figure, but she's white. Um, and she lives in Stockport. But you find out that in the same Stockport, there are other white people who don't want to, to, to even to look after them. Before, they were not charging uh, like a, a lot of fees when it comes to maybe people renewing their visas, people wanting to apply for the settlements, you know, being allowed to live in England and all that stuff. But now, the prices, they've gone so high that one child only, a child who was born in England, only for you to, to, apply for your, to apply for your settlement in England or for your visa in England, to renew your visa or to do your settlement in England, you have, to, if you've got three children, you are a single mom, you've got three children as a single parent, or you've got four children as a single parent, you have to pay a thousand pound on each child or a thousand something pound on each child. And for you only another thousand, which makes it 4,000 pounds. And you are a single parent. They expect you to pay that amount of money, almost like 5,000 NHS fees on top of that. You have to, to, to take out 5,000 pounds from your pocket to go and pay for your children who were born in England. These children, they were born in England. They were not born in Africa. They were born here and they are making them pay so much fees. They make you pay a lot of fees for you to live here in England. And I feel that the, 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 the fees for the immigration, it's too high. I don't let anything distract me. I don't let anything distract me. Whether they love me or they hate me. If they hate me, let them hate me. If they love me, let them love me. I um, I interact a lot with people. I talk to different people. Um, I overcome things by looking at the challenges. I take a challenge and I use that challenge to make a solution to it. And I take it as a, I, I take it as a, a positive thing to me. Um, like in terms of, let's say when I was racially, just to give you an example, when I was racially discriminated by my neighbor, uh, I was telling my, I told myself, I said, a newsman, a, a, a postman would bring a post to my door and say, oh, this is your neighbor's post. Can you, can you, uh, can you take it in? I wouldn't say no because I've got issues with my neighbor, because my neighbor doesn't like me because I'm black. I was taking the post. I would take the post and I would take the, tell the postman, can you please leave a note in their house to tell them that I've got their post here so that they can come and pick it up. 
because I know that they will have no choice but to come and knock on my door and ask for their post. I want and I hope and I cry in my heart that our children should have a brighter future. And it's us to start now, to start building future for our children, for our grandchildren, for our great-grandchildren. We want a better tomorrow for our kids.